How do I turn this around? There we go. All right. Oh my god. What the? Getting this right. Come on, fit onto my phone thing. All right. Oh, I hope that's working. Do 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 do. Mm hmm hmm hmm. This is not going to work. Look at how muddy this freaking place is, bruh. I should go somewhere else. Not this river. I'll be lucky to get one. Can I even see this? God, it's like four or five inches of visibility. This is crazy. Worth a shot though, what else am I gonna do today? <laughs> it's cold too. Gosh darn. We had some torrential downpours yesterday. And this is the result. Still got a couple people out here. There's a boat over there. Looks like they got some heavy catfish rods. Got some other bank anglers trying their luck. Got the white spoon on. Hopefully that will be a little bit more visible in this muddy water. I can try chartreuse in a bit too if I want. It's a bummer about this rain. I had such a good night here the other night. I got like 27 in like three or so hours. It's great. And the rain had to come. Maybe I'll give it like 45 minutes ish. Despite it being cold, it's not too bad out. I can try reeling it in slowly. Maybe give them an easier chance to find it and to be able to catch the lure but the the current is pushing it down something fierce and the water is risen it is pretty high up
yeah the current has taken it so far so fast okay give it a couple seconds we'll try Maybe if I had like an inline spinner or something that makes a little bit more noise, that'd be nice. But I did not prepare ahead for this. I did not. I did not do any preparing for this at all. Wasn't even sure if I was going to be coming out today. Because it, it was actually just pouring before I got here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's some dark ass clouds over there. And those just came through but now it's like all clear you see over there it's all quick it's all clear so if i catch one it'll be a miracle they were going crazy for the white spoon uh the other day like i said i got 27 and i'd probably say about 21 22 of them were on the white spoon then five or six on gold you know even if i do end up having no luck today at least it means i go home get some stuff i need to get done do maybe reline some reels reline some other stuff get ready for other fishing depending on how the river looks saturday i might be out Another uh, local YouTuber doing some catfishing on a boat, trying to catch a big one. But even with muddy water, though, I mean, I think the catfishing will be better than this since catfish use, you know, the sense of smell so much. There was a lot of uh, a lot of the cormorants out here, like right over here where, our, where I'm fishing. So I don't know if that's a good sign or bad sign. Do 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 do. Come on, Chad. That guy's fishing. That cormorant's fishing right there. He fishing. All right, slow roll, really slow roll. So slow, I'm probably gonna snag it on a rock. I guess the good thing about fishing when it's muddy is that I pretty much have the entire bank to myself. Gotta watch out for all these logs. Every five seconds, there's a tree branch going by. I gotta watch out for the snags that can be right in front of me too, because normally you can stand right here, but because the water's flooded a few extra feet, there's like an edge right there, and then it goes straight down for a while. So I gotta make sure I don't snag myself up on there. to do a stream today just because I want to catch up on editing that video I filmed the other day it's probably gonna end up being like 30 minutes long just because of all the catches so I was like well if I just stream and just chat with people and 
I think that'd be nice and I don't have to edit anything. One thing I've done in years past is I just film so much that I just, I'm playing catch up constantly with editing and that's a bummer. Then I also have other YouTube channels for non-fishing stuff. And also I've been playing a lot of social sports lately. Kickball, volleyball, cornhole, fun stuff like that. I don't have a lot of high hopes for this. Why can't Mother Nature just cooperate and make it a perfect fishing day every day? tree branches coming down so I have to just chill and wait till they're out of the way all right we're gonna be we're gonna wait we're gonna wait a few seconds and then slow roll this lure in You know what let's try the opposite let's let's try reeling it in really fast and maybe the extra movement will make more noise or something we'll let it sink for a couple seconds first and go I've worn shorts today. I mean, I know it's not impossible. Ooh, I probably hit a rock. Who am I kidding? I probably hit a rock or a stick. Yeah, I had some shrubbery on it. It's definitely not impossible to catch shad during muddy river days. I've done it in the past, but. I just didn't want to be inside today, you know what I mean? All right, give it a second, give it a second, give it a second, and rip it. Yeah, I'd say visibility is like four or five inches for me. I don't have my polarized sunglasses on though. Oop, I almost casted it with some sticks coming. So visibility is like four or five inches for me. I do I do not have my polarized sunglasses on though, just my regular glasses. Uh, I need to get some prescription polarized sunglasses. Is what I need to do. All right. Recently increased my prescription or whatever you call it. Is it increased prescription or just got it updated so it's a little bit higher than normally? Um, 
And then I tried putting on my polarized sunglasses, which I've been using for several years now, which don't have my prescription. And it felt worse. I don't know if my eyes have now adjusted to this higher prescription. I don't know. Oh, you're at the James River. I am, sir. And it is flooded. But you know what? I'm not just a fair weather fisherman, so I'll fish when it's muddy. I'll fish when it's cold, when it's hot. I just may not be successful. I'll give it like a solid 45 minutes-ish. Then I'll begin, I can say I tried. Thought about going there today, yeah, in the Richmond area, like I am. I mean, there's, there's about two other bank anglers. There's a boat, there's a cat fisherman on a boat that just, look, he's taking off right now. You probably can't see him in the distance, but uh, he has like six or seven, I think the Hellfire catfish rods or whatever you call those ones, um, the brightly colored ones. He's leaving. He was only there for like 10 minutes. He didn't give it a long time. He was up by the fall line over there. And then when I rolled up, he headed over by the train bridge. I uh, didn't see him catching anything. Not a lot of people out here. I had so much luck Monday. It was crazy. But then I had kickball Tuesday, so it wasn't out Tuesday. Then yesterday's when it rained all this time, all this. All right, give it a second. We're gonna give it a second. We're gonna risk catching a rock. Maybe if I brought my striper gear, I could at least do topwater fishing so I can make the noise with like a, you know, topwater. Whoops. That's something I could do today. I could just, if this doesn't work, if I don't catch anything in like another 25 minutes. Just go home, do a little bit more organization with my fish and stuff. Get the striper pole ready to go. People have been catching some big ones here, boy. You like to go? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, do you, um, is it the bank? Do you fish at the bank there? Or is that just when you? Is that where you launch your boat, you mean? Yeah, I'm all tangled up. I'm all tangled up. If it's from the bank, I mean, last year in the early shat season is where um, I had all like all my luck. Yeah, the bank, yeah. Um, this is where I had all my luck early on when it was still like cold, cold. Um, I wasn't having any luck over here by the shallower areas, by the fall line. But I just, I just don't like being surrounded by people. <laughs> and I don't like having to pull a fish up 20 feet off that wall. I do, um, I did some kayak fishing over there a few times in the shad season over there. That was kind of fun. Got my first one from a kayak last year actually. And a three pound catfish, that's nice. Uh, was the three pound catfish off of a lure? Did it? I tend to do that like a couple times per shad season. I'll end up catching like a blue catfish off of one of these shad spoons. Um, also, like the past two seasons, I catch my first striper while technically targeting shad because the, a smaller striper, like a pound or two, or maybe like one pound, we'll see. The lure, then I'll, I'll catch one kind of on accident. A nice happy accident. My index finger is freezing now.
even if I don't catch anything, at least I get a 45 minute stream to chat with whoever talks to me. <laughs> I really need to like, oh, well, I had a stick. I really need to like advertise my streams more. I don't really stream too often though. I need to do it more often. Get more content without having to do hours of editing. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I've been seeing some... Uh, hey, Charles, what's up, bud? I've been seeing some on, um... Uh, like the Facebook groups and stuff. I think he, I saw your comments on some of them, too. I think I missed somebody's chat right here. Uh, no raw bacon people always tell me I won't catch anything. In I mean... Hmm, interesting. I don't think I've ever used raw bacon. It seems like it would come off the hook pretty easily. If I buy any sort of like store-bought thing for catfishing, it's pretty much always chicken gizzards because they work, they're very, very cheap, and they um, stay on the hook very, very well. Look at that log, look at that whole tree log. You can buy like a whole pound of chicken gizzards for like two bucks of Kroger crazy chicken livers is great my dad uses chicken livers all the time he probably is watching right now but he can't comment because he doesn't know how to use technology dad um he loves using chicken livers but yeah, to me it's just they're so weak it's like jello you know i missed another comment I wish it would just stay on the screen. Uh, use the white part of it, like the fat part, and it will stay on forever. Interesting. Uh, flounder fishermen use bacon all the time. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I think I got two flounder in my life when I was a kid. It was one of those things where you go on a big boat with like 20 other people and they bait it up for you and stuff. I think I got two flounder on that, that day, but I was young. I think we use a combination of like squid and some small bait fish. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I'm getting old. This current is just so fast. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna catch anything, but oh well. Wait a couple seconds, warm up my finger, and go! Oh no, I'm on the bottom. I knew it. I waited too long. Waited too long. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, come on, snap. Snap or give me back the lure. How strong is this line? It's only 10 pounds, Jesus. <sighs> oh, there we go. I may have gotten the weight back. I feel like I did. I did, I got the weight back. All right, cool. Let's try chartreuse. Screw it. I feel like I missed a chat. Uh, and Carol's Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, hopefully it'll be down by then. You at 14th Street? Yep, I am. I am near there. A few hundred yards away.
All right, bright chartreuse, let's go. I'm running out of white. I think I have a whole bunch back at uh, back at home. Spent like $100 on shad spoons a couple months ago to prepare for the season. If any chartreuse, it ain't no use. All right. But, dude, I, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I was over here Monday, and I got, like, 27 mostly on white, none on chartreuse. I didn't even try chartreuse because white was working so well. Where's my... Oh. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I got, like, 27 on white, like, 6 on gold. White was killing it the other night. White did pretty well for me last season, too. Especially right around sunset. White was doing killer for me. And others, too. Others fishing around me. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. <laughs> Even if everything goes to crap, I did have one very, very good day of shad fishing. This season. I'll be doing less fishing since I've been joining all these like social sports and stuff doing that a couple nights a week volleyball kickball whatnot oh come on get through there what are you doing and also i have a trip coming up i'll leaving in about one month where i'll be traveling around the united kingdom Chilling out. Gonna see some sights. Have a little spiritual journey, maybe. Uh -huh. All right, let's get back down here. Okay. All right, chartreuse. Let's see if you can do where white failed. Oh, I have a knock. Oh, God. That's a huge log out there, oh my god. You probably can't see it, but that's a gigantic fat log in the middle of the river over there. Let's see, what's the visibility? Not much better than white, I can tell you that. That's right, 28 minutes? All right, I'll give myself like another 20 minutes. If I don't catch nothing, then... I just go home and prepare for a better fishing day, maybe this weekend. One thing I hate seeing is all the trash around. Just bottles of random stuff, packaging of random stuff. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I do, anyways. I hope you catch many of them, Charles. Many, many, many of them. I wonder if there's like fishing charters I can do. I'm going to uh, Dublin, Belfast, Edinburgh, and London. Four different countries, four different cities, and a bunch of things in between. So, I, th I think they're really big in carp fishing over there. They got some big ones, I think. We got another big log coming.
Oh, whoa. Uh, not sure what that was. Dang it. No, I, now it's stuck there. So I hit something. Either something bit and immediately let go, or I just hit like a log that was directly underneath the surface of the water. I don't know. Hey, log, how you doing? You come to interrupt my day? That's cool. Let's really slow roll this. See if that works. We got a couple more bank fishermen out here. Oh gosh, now this log's right there. This log is now stuck right here, so I'm gonna end up snagging this thing at some point. I just know it. And it suddenly got dark. What the fudge? <laughs> Why go to United Kingdom for carpet? Got a 20 pound carpet in the shed there in early March. Uh, yeah, I'm not going there to fish. <laughs> I just think they're really big on it because I've, I've come across some channels of some like UK fishermen and it feels like they're always just carp fishing. So I think they're, they're just really big on it. I think it's a popular thing, popular form of fishing over there. I have not caught many carp. Actually, I think I may only got one. And what sucks is that my camera malfunctioned and I didn't get it on video. I got a photo of it though. I think it was actually like two years ago or two summers ago, so maybe a year and a half ago. Um, common carp on a piece of night crawler and I was like on eight pound test line and I didn't have a scale big enough to weigh it, nor did I have a net, which sucks. So I don't even know how big it was other than about length. It was crazy, it was one heck of a fight. Because again, it was on eight pound test line on a medium rod, kind of like this. God, was it fun? I don't actually usually target carp either, that's the thing. One time I tried at a spot that I like to go to. Um, that I've seen some gigantic like grass ones, grass carps. And I brought like corn and dough and stuff like that and tried really hard like that entire day and just couldn't get them, couldn't get one. Kind of like a whole nother ball game, really. Gosh darn. This current is just too fast. Fingers are cold. When I looked at the temperature today, I was like, really? <laughs> it's gonna stay that cold after it was just like two days of 75 in a row? Come on. It was nice. It was a nice it was a nice couple days while it lasted. No people off the 14th Street Bridge fishing. No more boaters. Just me and like three bank anglers. 
who are here because we have nothing better to do. Actually, no, there's a whole family over there now fishing. Yeah, there's like five people over there. We're all suckers. What are we doing out here? This one is dangerously close to the bank, this cast. I'll give it a shot. Whee! I wish the sun would stay out so I'd be warmer. Hey, if the cormorants are trying, I should be trying. That guy's trying. Does England do fishing charters? How much does it cost? And what could I catch? I'm not bringing my GoPro or anything because I don't have any room in my bag, but I have my cell phone, I guess. Tyler goes fishing in the UK. Tyler goes to the UK to fish. Tyler catches the Loch Ness Monster. That would be the most epic thing. Mm -hmm. There's a guy who helped me land the carp, was fishing the carp. He was right next to me. I gotta go, okay, dude, see ya. It's like a whole month from now, so there'll be more content from now, or for a while, before I take that break. But thanks for joining. Peace out. As I might only be here for like another 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. How long has it been? 38 minutes? Okay, okay. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm done with this. Oh my god. It's cowled. It's cowled. Now comes the boring part of the stream where I don't have anything else to say. Current temp, there is 50 and windy. Yeah, not great. Water temp's supposed to be up though. It's supposed to be like 58, or at least it was yesterday. It's just muddy, that's it, that's it. It wasn't so muddy, we'd have been having a better day. Visibility is not good. Not good at all. I can only see the lure a couple inches under the surface. But gosh darn it, I'm still out here. I'm still trying. I'm still off the high from Monday when I caught like 27 of these guys. Woof. 
another gigantic log in the middle of the river. Oh, Mother Nature, you are powerful. It doesn't really look that bad, but like I would never... I wouldn't be on my kayak on this sucker. There's too many things can go wrong. Maybe a John boat or something, you know, but not kayak. I was talking to a guy last night about that. It's like, even if, even, I'm, so, I'm so overly cautious that like, even if it's remotely bad, I'm not risking nothing. Wind's not helping me either. When it comes to casting, anyways, wind's coming this way, and I'm kind of casting that way so I can cast upriver a little bit. Ugh. Uh, I do know them. I've, I've met, never met them in person, but you know, I, I've watched their live streams. They've commented on my videos. I've commented on their videos. I do know of them. I have also seen them on boats when I'm fishing here on the bank. And I see them like start fishing or start a, like a live stream. And I'm like, hey, I'm on the bank over here. So yes, I do know of them. Let's see here. That was the big thing stopping me from going today was the wind. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, duckies. Get out of the way, duckies. You're cute, but get out of my way. That looks like two males, actually. The colorful ones with the cool green heads. Oh, uh, I thought I had something, but I think I just hooked on to like a piece of weed or something. Oh, there's another bank angler that just joined me over here, maybe 50 yards down. Let's see if they catch anything. Really great guy, Matt Three Stands. I'm interested in joining them as I watch your videos. Oh, dang it. The thing is that I, the comment will pop up, but it disappears so quickly I can't read the whole thing before it goes away. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, let's try. Then watch your videos also and see you catch catch. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. I really started. Um, I guess the summer before last is when I really started targeting catfish and started like going after big ones too. Like I bought better equipment. I started learning about hooks and lines and rigs and uh, started going to spots that I, ooh, I just, I, again, I just hit like a stick or something, but it felt like I got a hit. Um, and I started like learning all about that stuff and I broke like all of my personal bests. Like I got the biggest of my life, 39 pound blue catfish. Uh, but I got it at a spot that I don't film at. 
So I, you just see like a short cell phone video of it. Um, and so like, I mean, up until summer of 2022, yeah, 2022, the biggest fish I caught was like a 12 pound um, flathead. And then that whole summer when I'm really starting to learn all this stuff, like I demolished it a million times. I demolished that number a million times. Like I've gotten 39, I've gotten 33, I've gotten a couple 30s, a number of 28s, 26s, 24s, 20s, a bunch of 18 pounders, 16 pounders, a bunch like that. And then last summer I did less catfishing but really started focusing on like wading through the river and doing like ultralight fishing or like smallmouth bass fishing. And I just enjoyed it so much, just like being waist deep in water, trucking around in the hot sun. It was, it was so much fun. So the past two summers kind of had a whole theme to them. Last summer was smallmouth and ultralight fishing wading. Summer before that was big old kitty cats. Hopefully I'll catch a big old kitty cat. Oh, that guy's leaving already. Wow, he casted like five times and now he's gone. I guess he didn't didn't want to do this for an hour like I am. Um, maybe I'll catch a big in this weekend. Supposed to head out to on a boat with a dude. If the river's not too bad. So we got like 48 hours for this this crap to clear up. God, there's so many sticks. My second biggest catfish was actually on my kayak, which I believe was, I believe was last summer at some point. It's 33 pounder. That sucker took me and my kayak for a ride. That was filmed. That's on my channel somewhere. Forgot what it's called. That was fun. Was able to land him. Thankfully, some some other people helped. It was like I was in a carriage, and the catfish was a horse draw a horse dragging me around. There's another giant log coming. This is crazy, dude. What are we at? 48 minutes? Yeah. I ain't doing nothing but getting my hands cold. That's a bummer. This happened last shad season too, was that there was like a lot of downtime because the river was flooded from various rainstorms that came through. I guess it gave me some time to do other things. Got into trail running a little bit last year. Got some nice trail hiking shoes, started jogging through the woods. Very peaceful. Good exercise, too. Rock bass. You know, I don't think I've caught any rock bass in Richmond. There was a spot a long time ago my dad and I went to. Uh, it was technically on the James, but it was up where I used to live up in the Appalachian Mountains. Um, I remember it was one night where I think we were using night crawlers and we were just throwing it on the bottom. And there was like a half hour period. We probably caught like 15 of them right at sunset. Uh, other than that, I don't think I catch too many rock bass here, really. Oh, dang logs coming. Come on, log. Come on. I ain't got all night. 
I kind of do, I guess. I got videos to edit. Edit the video, edit all the shorts. There's going to be a lot of shorts from that video. Oh, what's that say? Hmm, rock bass scraper something, right? Oh, I can't. Uh, that disappeared before I finished it. Da, 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 da. Rock bass striper something right. What? Hmm? Hey, Tuesday, somebody was just talking about you. And by somebody, I mean, uh, I can't see it. Yeah, Dustin, yeah, Dustin. It's hard to see on the cell phone, like it's on my chest. So like, it's, I'm trying to keep it pointed forward. But if I point it too far, too far up, I can't read the screen. So I'm like moving my chin really far down, like trying to, trying to read it. And then there's a glare from the sun. Oh, same thing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's been some big and big and stripers caught. See, when I think of rock bass, I, I don't think of stripers. I think of like. The kind of the smaller bass with like the red eyes, the fattier ones. I don't know. Are do are stripers nicknamed rock bass? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm not an expert in stripers. Oh, don't hit that log! Don't hit that log! I almost hit that log. Two stands, you would be right. I'm gonna go with Austin, assuming the river is not crappy. If it's this crappy, the, the fishing for shad's gonna suck because you're supposed to catch it with lures, right? You can't catch bait with a cast net, if I read the rules right. Hopefully the river will clear up. Obviously the fishing isn't good, but you know, I like being near water. I like being outside. And if I leave here, I'm gonna go inside and I don't wanna be inside really. <laughs> but I feel like I could be more productive with my time by being inside. Yeah, two stands. I, uh, originally, I was like, I wonder if I can just enter this competition in my kayak, and then it would be hilarious if I won from my kayak when everybody's got boats with like 45 rods, and I just got my one rod on my dinky little $800 10 foot boat, 10 foot kayak. That'd be hilarious. Um, but if this water doesn't clear up, I'm not risking nothing by being on it in a kayak. I don't think I've taken the kayak out this year at all yet, actually. 
I don't think I have. Mm -hmm. Right, the first hour is fishing for bait on rod and reel. After an hour, if no bait is caught, you can use it. Okay, so is is the first hour only? You can't. So, like, if you say so hypothetically speaking, you catch something in the first cast, you catch a shad. Can you immediately put it on some hooks, or do you have to wait wait that hour before you can start start whatever? That's my question. And it's any legal bait, I believe, right? So if I catch a bluegill, I could use a bluegill. Because, man, I can tell you, if this water doesn't clear up, I am not confident in the shad fishing. Wind is not helping me with the casting. It's crazy. Does it have to be caught from a boat? That's another it's another important question. Part of me was also thinking like, nothing actually says that this has to be on a boat. Could I hypothetically take my big catfish fever rod, go to a bank fishing spot I like to go to, catch a big one, and maybe be a part of that competition without actually having to be on a boat? Most of my big ones have been from the bank with the exception of the second biggest, the 33 pounder that I got on the kayak. Well, my 39 pounder, 30 pounder, a bunch of 28s, a bunch of 26s, a bunch of, a bunch of those have come from the bank. There's another tree getting in my way. And after the, wait, and so I think I read that after the first hour you can use chicken. Is that any part of the chicken? Does it have to be chicken breast? Can it be chicken gizzards? My questions are probably getting annoying at this point. It's just semantics, Tyler. Can it be chicken fried steak? Can it be chicken nuggets? Even though it's probably not real chicken? Oh no, I hit the stick. No. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Ah. It doesn't matter. I trust Austin will do 90% of the work and I'll just be the color commentary. I'll be the video editor, that's what I'll do. I will film Austin being the pro catfisherman he is. And I will be there. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Let's let it sink for a second. And then we'll go. Come on. Ah. Well, oh well. Is this the bingo tournament? I don't know. Is that what it's called? No clue. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead, call it a day. My throat's starting to hurt from all this talking. My legs hurt from all this standing. My finger hurts from all this cold casting. Oh gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Flip. There's my beautiful face. It's on Fish Fever channel. He's links in the description of our videos. Yeah. What's the bingo tournament? Is that something else? Ugh, I know nothing about tournaments. Sun's in my face. All right. Well, even if the water's still muddy, I'm, I'm assuming that we're still gonna do it. Just might be a little harder to try to catch bait, especially if you can't use the the uh, cast net. But oh well. So my finger's freezing. I need to go do some other things. I need to edit that video for Monday. Uh, thanks for watching this hour-long stream of casting and no catching. Uh, and I'll uh, see you next time. <laughs> Peace out. I awkwardly try to figure out how to stop. Okay.